I'm okay. also going to give myself a disadvantage. <laughs> 12 with disadvantage. I rolled a 4 and a 3. I rolled an 18 mm-hmm. and a nat 1. Oh, oh no. Uh, I'm going to paint the picture as you guys walk up. The loud noise you heard, you see some shattered glass, dra- uh, gravel driveway goes up. This house also isn't a part of town that is very much <laughs> not... It, it's it's straddling the line between the kind of suburb of Elmville with like rural, like the gravel driveway. You can see the road from the house, but the gravel driveway is like up a little bit. It gets a little bit rural out here. So this is like kind of that semi-rural house party. Go ahead one by one and tell me what's the vibe you're copping as you walk up into this truly packed rager. Uh. Um, Riz is definitely doing a head nod to everybody, but it's just, it's way too much. <laughs> and he's also, I think he is the one carrying the liquor, which is the a bad idea because he's very small. So this huge jug that Galir bought, I just have it like this and I'm just shaking as a nod to everybody. Um, I, I think uh, Gorgug is, you know, just throwing out a, ton, a bunch of peace signs uh, <laughs> kind of behind Riz. Like he's seen like maybe like an album that one of his parents have with like sort of like <laughs> that that like uh, hippie vibe and it just thinks that's maybe cool. Uh, <laughs> just... I think on a nat one, Fabian's going full like, oh, oh, <laughs> here come the bad boys. <laughs> the, ba- <laughs> the bad boys are here. Ooh, hide, hide. The bad boys are here. Oh, no. You better hide. (laughs) Everyone, get out. Hide. Hide. And Fabian, you yell, bad boys are here. Oh, you know what it is. The bad boys have arrived at the party to to do it with Squad Deep. We are squad deep. Um, as you bring that attention to yourself, Fabian, uh, one of Corey's friends who is blasted to hell, this like bald dwarf with a huge beard, uh, goes up and goes, bad boys for life, and plants his lips on your mouth and just breathes smoke into your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need a constitution saving throw. Are you okay? Are you all right? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Are you all right? Um, uh, that's going to be a nine. Uh, you perceive all coterminous realms of existence uh, that border on the prime material plane um, almost immediately, and the dwarf who just breathed that smoke out of his lungs into your lungs uh, passes out, twinkles into light, and disappears. Uh, Fabian? Where am I? Where, where, where is that? Is time real? <laughs> What's the, happening? We're the bad boys. Hide. Hold on Hide, to this. Fabian. Hold on In to what being reality the bad are we boy. bad? What is bad? Uh, can I? Can I Go watch ahead. the door while Kingston does? I'll, I'll like give him the help action, but I want to like guard the door so that Kingston yes. can have as much time. Yes, absolutely. Picturing a six-year-old man using a computer. <laughs> yeah, it's just like <laughs> slow clicks. Uh, uh, what, uh, so what close to the like? computer. Yeah, just all the way up in here. All right, let's see. <laughs> okay. Uh, what uh, what check would you like? Um, I will say if you're not using magic, go ahead and give me a an investigation check with advantage. Oh. I mean, I guess I'll. I, I don't I don't think I have I don't think I could use magic so I guess I'll, I'll Are you are out you out of me. slots? Is that what's going on right now? No, I got plenty of slots. <laughs> I got slots all day. Uh but I don't have I don't have like detect magic or anything like that. What about okay. that remote control thing? Maybe you can You do have some remote access. <laughs> oh, okay. Great. I'll put remote <laughs> access to work. Uh I mean it's still it's still Kingston on a computer. It's just 
Uh, <laughs> can I do? Can I use remote access to be going looking at a computer while I'm also going through files? Like, are there physical files in here? What level of office are we? Is this like a full modern office or? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna make that investigate check. Um, that is going to be a 19. Um, uh, incredible. Uh, a 19 investigation? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna say Kingston. First of all, you walk towards the computers and the computers all turn on at your approach. Is this at normal? Sophie, do, is this what computers do now? Um, I, I have a tablet and I, I cannot get that thing to turn on. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll just assume this is normal then. All right. Um, after the computer turns on at your approach, Kingston, th at that point, um, I'm going to say 19 investigation. You find some paper stuff here. You have a feeling none of the paper stuff will be important. Um, you are not going to know what the individual like security things, passwords, yada, yada, other stuff like that is. But you do see a way on the computer you have right now mm -hmm. to um, just copy this entire hard drive, the main hard drive of this computer, and you could put it onto a flash drive or something like in this is like, a utility desk that has like portable hard drives on it. You know enough to be like, I can just take everything here, download it to this thing and walk out Command the door. Command A, Command C, and <laughs> click on just the copy and paste flash it. drive, Command <laughs> B. Kingston, okay. you're a my pro. Document, copy oh, and hey, paste. I, what about my, my, my little nieces uh, showed me how to do this the other day? Because I was having, oh. you know, because I was switching. I got a yeah. new computer that I haven't opened yet. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, I gotta show you my tablet. Maybe you can figure out what's going on with it. Okay, that honestly, yeah, yeah I could probably figure that out. All right, uh, it's gonna be two minutes, but we, we're so in. many young people in our party. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Um, <laughs> If there are any, so you download a tremendous amount of information. On a 19, you know you have a lot of good stuff. You just don't know what the answers are in it. Um, you can give me a further check if you want, if you have any specific questions uh, here. If you have any. Uh, uh, can I look for, uh, in terms of like uh, CEOs, CFOs, like names? Uh, and then can I also search with regard to Gladiator? I think those would Ooh, be my two questions. Nice. Uh, Hell and then yes. one more thing. Can I look for JJ's name or whatever mm. his real name Ooh. is in anything? Um, oh, do me a favor and look for Tony also. Oh, you got it. Ho hold on, hold on. Command <laughs> F. <laughs> T O. Honestly, and watching you y work is inspiring. Space bar. <laughs> I'm a hunt and pecker. That's what my I kids know. call me. They say I do a hunt and peck. I don't Emphasis know what that means. Emphasis on the hunt, because you are a hunter. <laughs> Here we go now. Here we are in. You ever see that movie, Hackers? I feel like yeah. that right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I minor illusion a Angelina Jolie wetsuit on myself. <laughs> <laughs> She wears them, just as clothing. Uh, it's incredible. Cool. <laughs> but you got that 21 perception, right? Yeah. Um, you look behind you, it's pitch black everywhere. Stealth mode, baby. Screaming down the highway, faintest little bit of moonlight. Your your eyes begin are starting to adjust to like the night vision. Um, as a circle of uh blasted, glowing lime green runes appear on the highway behind you. You see the trees all around you are buckling and bending in gale force winds in this cold fall evening. The runes <laughs> erupt and as they fade, a piece of black smoke, noxious and choking, <laughs> appears in the highway behind you. Your other companions haven't seen it yet. Thundering out of the runes, illuminated only for the briefest moment in the sickly lime green light, barreling on all fours like an animal, is Chungle Down Bim. <laughs> uh, 
I think uh, Fabian immediately <laughs> stops uh, screaming boys' night and goes just sickly pale and is just like, hey, guys, I don't want to be – we're never doing drugs again because I, I – like, the, I'm high and Chuckle Down Bim just appeared <laughs> on the highway. And I'm now – drugs are so bad. So um, you decided to be scared? I don't know. No, I'm not – I mean – I, he's not there because it's the it's just the realities. It's Riz like, has uh, just not stopped screaming. Just the one long sustained scream. And I get I'm gonna turn the headlights on. Uh, well, actually, what I'm gonna need first of all, Fabian, is I'm gonna need a a flat charisma check to actually yell what you're saying over the thudding music in the car. Uh, that's gonna be twenty one. So Fabian yells. Chuckled. I'm never doing drugs. I sit, I, I'm high and I saw Chuckle down me. I'm high and I'm drugs. Um, I'm gonna need perception checks uh, with advantage from Gorgog and Riz. This is okay. unbelievable. I just rolled another nat twenty. What? Yeah, I, I got a twenty three. Um, Riz, you uh, you whip around with a spotlight on your Arcadian watch and just, boom, hit the back of the road. And again, like some kind of feral predator, just, ah. you see, <laughs> ooh, the spellcasters are out of town, boyos. <laughs> <laughs> he's here, he's here, he's here. I'm high. I'm high. I'm high. I slap Fabian in the face. Oh. He's real. Chungle down Bim is real. <laughs> Amethar, you are falling. Um, you are falling from one of the highest parapets deep into the crevasse of the moat of Castle Candy. I'm going to need you to make, uh, you, you have enough time falling to make three more constitution checks to attempt at the end of, like, or at the beginning of each turn, attempt to come out of paralysis. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, oh um, my god. How close am I to that? You're a million miles away. How close am I to that? Probably also a million miles away. When we get to his last roll, we can make some rolls to see exactly how close you are. Okay. Um, uh, go ahead and roll on the board. First constitution roll. Yes. Oh. Uh, you come out of paralysis. Yes. Come on. Um, oh, rage, God. take that half oh, damage. Oh, that's some cereal? Oh, dude, you rage. Can rage. Rage in the air. I'm Max excited. damage. <clears throat> can I rage on the next two turns worth of fallen? I mean, it's been established that there's three turns of falling. I'd like to take one to come out of uh, paralysis. Uh, two. If we have to obey the rules, <laughs> you have to. <laughs> I mean, he would be pretty mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there ever was yeah. a time to rage, yeah, Crawler really, like, literally just rage. twisted a knife yeah, right. while monologuing about how he killed all of his sisters. I feel like, like I, I actually, I, I, for, I actually messed something up before in the thing with Jet's last stab was at Chibata. Chibata was the one who stabbed you. Okay. Chibata was the one who stabbed you. What did you use for that? Just to repo. It was a reaction. It wasn't the poison dagger or whatever. I don't. I don't have a water dagger. I used mine on the Pontifex. Oh fuck yeah. Okay. Yeah. I still have mine for what fucking good it's done me. Oh, I feel sick. <laughs> I know. I. <laughs> oh, I have a list. Oh, I have a list. Oh, oh you oh, get Bill and Hill in here. here. I have a list. Um, the max falling damage is twenty d six. You're gonna take all of that. You may fly into a rage just right. before you hit the ground. Right. Can you? Uh, um, can you second win? Uh, yes. I mean, oh yeah, you're a fighter. Do you have yes. second win? I do have second win. Can <gasps> I go second win? Can I use one turn to second win and one turn? Well, rage going into a bonus can, action. Yeah, uh, you can second win. You have two rounds, so you can do second oh, win on one. Nice. Great. Yeah. Here we go. I'm shaking. Uh, oh my god. I'm shaking. 1d10 plus 2. 1d10 plus 2. Uh, that's 1 plus 2 equals 3. How many hit points do you have? 51. Oh, come on, dude. All right, let's see this falling damage, max falling damage. Before I roll, what is going through Amethar's mind? <clears throat> uh, as I fall, uh, I think the two things I see are. Uh, 
Ruby uh, tied to the rope on my fondue, shooting an arrow straight through the captain's head. And then uh, the look on Jet's face when she stabbed uh, the guy on the, uh, you know, that road. And we did the daddy-daughter special for the first time. Eight, 11, 16, 72 points of fallen damage. But half, half, half to 36. <gasps> oh. Oh. Dude. Oh. Uh. How many hit points does Amethar have? 35. Uh, thir excuse me, 50 minus 35, which is 15. You fall for hours. You look across the bridge and see a glowing point of heart red light crossing the bridge and then extinguish. You hear the noise of shouts from within the castle. You know the moment that the heart red light goes out, the jet is gone. I think that's uh, the angriest I've ever been at the world and myself, that this is where I am at this time. Like a meteor falling from the sky, the king erupts in flame, strikes into the ground. Cola steam and bright purple and pink rocks <laughs> crater from the dust and rubble. The king of Candia stands, having fallen from the height of his own castle, alive as the sounds of war erupt. Well, I'm a peanut butter fiend, and, a, and in a lot of ways a peanut butter purist, gotcha. and I really don't like when people fuck with peanut butter. I really don't like artificial tasting peanut butter. Do you do Reese's? Man, don't put me on that, man. What are you doing? Don't put me on blast like that, dude. What the fuck are you doing? You, you said you don't do artificial peanut butter, and you expect me to follow up well, in our no, Slack I, segment? I, no, I was hoping you it's constitution No, I was hoping, okay, bro, I was hoping I would get to walk away and kind of people would be like, oh, Lou's really into peanut butter. Now you're making me, now you put me on the spot. Now I gotta say that I love Reese's, especially the Easter one. Son of a bitch. Um, wow. You guys can cut that though. You just lie. <laughs> you can keep it. You I love that you should cut it. I love I love a segment where we're like, and if you collect <laughs> dice, you can fucking die. You have to cut the thing I said about Reese's out. You have no, you to cannot, cut. You, have you to. cannot include Bro, that. My friends have seen this. You in the bathtub, seven o'clock in the morning, your, <laughs> your phone ringing <laughs> off. <laughs> Lou, this is Lou, this is your agent. I just heard from the Nestle Corporation. Um, the advertisers are pulling out, and we hey, are Lou. This is uh, Joan from Nabisco. <laughs> we were so excited to do that kind of uh, that collab, and we just uh, we hear. Uh, <laughs> or no, I guess it would. Hey, what's up? This is. Uh, 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 no, hold on. I'm gonna do a bit. Wait a second. You just gotta give me a second. Uh, who am I thinking of? Uh, give me one second, don't talk. Um, one second, don't talk. <laughs> one second, don't talk. Um, uh, hey, what's up, Lou? This is Joan from Mr. Peanut. Uh, we were so excited to have you be the new Mr. Peanut. Uh, you know, the whole baby peanut, Mr. Peanut, didn't think it would work out, and so now... <laughs> You know, we were gonna do a fun, diverse thing. Where, <laughs> and uh, but we hear you love Reese's, motherfuckers. So, um, yeah. So I think that's gonna fall. The idea of me getting on a phone call with David Kearns being like, uh, so for the next season, Lou is booked out for four months. He's Mr. Peanut, and he's going on a world tour. Um, <laughs> Mr. Peanut is back in a big way, baby. I, I, I think there is something. 
There's something truly crazy to the idea. <laughs> and I hope this isn't rude. They're like, <laughs> just like being in Seoul, South Korea. <laughs> just, oh, just like truly like a, I, just because I just watched it, like a Woodstock 99, like 250,000 people. <laughs> All lined up and be like, are you ready? <laughs> ah, ah, huge, huge 11 person K pop band comes out. <laughs> Lou, Mr. Peanut, we cut to backstage. You just like sweating in your costume in the post show quiet. And someone comes out and was like, that went really well. That went that incredible. Went really, yeah, that went really well. Yeah, man. That's, that's some people want to see. How do you say <laughs> People want you to come out. Ask, ask Mr. Peanut. Of course, ask Mr. Peanut. Come out. And yeah, say, of course. Of course. <laughs> More, uh, uh, and to answer the question you asked me before, I. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I eat uh, at the. I will. Uh, the first narrative break, mm -hmm. I always make sure there's snacks there. I think snacks are an essential part of DD um, in general. You can't have people be cranky. You can't have people. If people don't know where they can feed themselves or when we're gonna eat lunch or those sorts of things, yeah. I think you get into a really bad space where people are unfocused yeah. and unwilling to commit. Like, I think it helps people engage with your narrative if you're like, we're gonna... <laughs> I just throw up. <laughs> It's like full vomit. It's full <laughs> and it's just full dry, unshelled peanuts. <laughs> it's happening! Uh, I was trying to prepare for the role! Um, uh, I'm gonna make my, I would like to climb out of the car and onto the hood. Uh, uh, I guess I would like to, I'd like to push Corey aside. Cool. I'd like to like pull whatever lever it is to like uh, unlatch the or like to pop the hood up. Cool. Uh, and um, then, so, so and then you I'm climb out. cool. Um, you grab the hooch. That's your object interaction. You're gonna need to use an action to pull the to pull the uh, the hood. Um, go ahead and give me an an acrobatics check. I get, I get plus 13 on this, so uh, yeah, we'll do a big old 22. Nice. Um, uh, you reach down, boom, the car is going 90 miles an hour <laughs> and the hood pops. Um, we are going to, I, I'm trying to think uh, uh, bu -bu -bum, uh, where we can be over. Uh, I'm gonna go just to our start page for roll 20, just to start doing some rolls in front of the board here. Um, so we're not on a specific map, we're just sort of on the Dimension 20 home home uh, page right now. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba, um, uh, and let's see here. Um, gonna do this roll, this first roll uh, on the Dimension 20 screen in front of the board. Um, this is a luck check to see what happens when the hood flaps up? You want high, not low. Come on. 19. Yes. Incredible. Oh, Jesus. It didn't roll for me. Yeah, so I, didn't just, see, like, I don't see it. for a reaction. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, it, it managed to slide underneath the board. 19. Um, uh, you hit the thing. The hood whoom, flies up shoo, uh, and skids past the car. It hits the corner of the windshield, cracking it, and boom, thuds, it just, the force of the wind rips it off the car. Um, and I'm gonna make a saving throw for Chungle Down Bim. On a natural four, uh, Chungle Down Bim loses some distance on you from oh. having to dodge the hood uh, oh. as he's sprinting on all fours down the road. Um, uh, Fabian, um, uh, you have used your object interaction and your action, you have movement left. Uh, I look, uh, or uh, I, uh, yeah, I climb out onto the hood uh, and like position myself as best as I can. Uh, you know, uh, can I figure out where he, do I remember where he poured the hooch in? Um, yes, I believe you do. 
Here's the deal. Climbing out onto the hood of a car through the window as it's going 90 miles an hour is a DC 25 acrobatics check. If you fail to hit a DC 20, we will be in a very bad situation. Okay. Go ahead and roll. I need, it's a, it's a DC 25. So I need a 12 or higher. Come you need on. a seven or higher to avoid something bad happening. Oh no! What'd you get? No, you you didn't get another uh, one, did you? No, that's a okay. three for a sixteen. Okay. Fabian, I'm going to need one more. Uh, I'm going to need a DC twenty dexterity saving throw, and then I'm going to give you a very terrible choice. Okay. Wait. Okay. Okay. Give me the, give me, me the DC twenty next one, Hold on, give me one second to see if there's anything else I can do that I should have, you know, thought of longer and harder. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Uh, oh, wait, I, sorry, I forgot I have spells. Let me check my spells real quick. Um, I will need that deck save pretty much no matter what. I, yeah, I just want to make sure. For sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, okay. I don't have anything. Okay. You got this. This is a Matt 20 coming up. Here it is. Why, Here it so is. what do you need yeah. for DC this deck save? You got it. You got it. What do you need for this deck save? Uh, DC 20. Guaranteed Matt 20 coming up. Yeah, we did it. Oh, we did it. Everyone at home, uh, let go of your butts. We did it. Uh, that's going to be Go of your butts. Let go of your damn butts, because that's a 22. Thanks. Cool. So you failed the acrobatics by a lot that something bad's going to happen, but you hit your deck save by enough that I'm going to let you choose. Okay, do, thank God. Do you, do you want something bad to happen to your body or to the jug of liquor? <gasps> you, can, you can protect one of them at the expense of the other. I mean, my body will take the hit. <laughs> The liquor must survive. Fabian, you crawl out of the window. The car hits a pothole in the highway. You drop, reflexively grab the liquor, hit the road, are going to take a tremendous amount of damage right oh, now. Oh, God. Uh, uh, and snag your shirt <laughs> on the tailpipe going under the car momentarily. Get your s magical sneakers up on the road and are skidding with sparks flying out from your sneakers, suspended by like your shirt tucked up around your armpit, like arching your back to keep up off the road with the intact jug of liquor after taking whoa, uh, 10, 20, 28 points of damage. Okay. Woo! Um, so time. jug, so again, like tailpipe shirt, you are behind the car. Your head is like pressed up against the back bumper. You've got your sneakers up, arching your back, holding the jug. So you're not taking more damage, but you are there. And now you are just that much closer to Chungle Down Bim, who you can now see. <laughs> Um, and is the music still blaring so they can't, like... Boom, 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 boom. Oh, there's zero communication. It's thundering music coming out. And still shooting down the highway in pitch darkness. Boys night. Um, up next in the initiative order, Fabian, Aramaeus, Seacaster, Hangman also going on your turn. Great. Uh, how far is the night you're from us at this point? I just need to know if it's less or more than 60 feet. Well, its tail counts as its body. It is slightly over 60 feet. The Hangman's within 60 feet, but the Hangman is at about 70. Okay. Isaf, Isaf, I'll be right back. <gasps> Master Seacaster, I shall wait for you here for as long as it takes for you to return. It won't be long at all. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, Riz, keep driving the, uh, keep driving the car. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna climb out of the front, uh, the front of the car, mm -hmm. uh, and onto the hangman, um, just to get just within 60 feet. So I want to use this little movement because I'm gonna try and climb back into the car after I do this. Uh, okay. So. <laughs> 
climbing out of the car onto the hangman, uh, and I'm gonna whip uh, the uh, battle silk forward and cast fairy fire onto Whoa. the. Ooh, onto the night yore. Onto the night yore. Okay, uh, you give me a DC 15 acrobatics okay. uh, to successfully land on your moving motorcycle. I have a plus 13 to acrobatics, Ooh. so just don't roll so bad. <gasps> God damn. No. Is that a nat one? It was a nat fucking one. Why do you still own oh, this die? I, You're blessed. I recognize that dice. I, uh, You're blessed. Wait, wait. You're blessed. Do oh, you don't you oh, have a certain no. I silvery barbs? No. Yep. Is this a sel is this a saving throw? Or is like a it's not a saving wait, throw. Wait, you magically you distract the triggering creature. No, uh, no I think it's I to just, succeed, I think, for silvery I think I barbs. it just happens. Okay. I am I am trying to look at this mirror for as long as I possibly <laughs> can. <laughs> and I think I'm just putting my dainty foot out, being like, all right, pull it. <laughs> right, yes. And uh yeah. <laughs> Riz, you watch uh, as your good friend Fabian Aramea Seacaster gets one beautiful dancer's foot up through the windshield, by the way, that you, I guess, have taken out <laughs> to allow <laughs> this. Uh, <laughs> actually, I'm we'll gonna go into probably, you probably wanna pop the side window yeah, up yeah, and yeah. do it from there. Okay. So you pop the side window on a natural <laughs> one. You spring uh. forward and miss the motorcycle, roll disadvantage because of the nat one, but we're gonna go ahead and the van is gonna take a crush attack on you right Ooh, away. No! Um, hey, <laughs> uh, okay, but we can still rebarbs the van. Uh, okay. No, this is, I'm gonna need you to roll a dexterity saving throw. It's a low DC, it's only DC 12, but you're rolling it with disadvantage. Oh, Don't God. No. Oh, it's so weird, when I look it's into, into the mirror, it looks like Fabian's coming towards the car. <laughs> and circle of power gives Circle us... of power gives you advantage on saving throws, so it's cool. even, right? Flat. Y yes, uh, gives you advantage. Yeah. Oh yeah, so it's a straight roll. Oh no, but it's roll, uh, but on magical effects, right? So I don't think I do think yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's nothing magical about what's yes. happening in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a kid, a kid, like, like a teenager, has jumped to a motorcycle it, with five feet of clearance from a van doing 90 in the middle oh, of the desert. This Everyone's is why there are more mirror. women yeah. than men. Like, <laughs> Boys do this shit. Okay. All right, here we go. You need a, okay. Disadvantage. Uh, oh. That's the lower one is a 14 okay. before bless. Okay. And a 18 after bless. Hey. Okay. Fabian, give me one more dex saving throw. This is a DC 20 dex saving throw. You roll it straight. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, oh my God. Same God. Same time. Uh, Deck save? Deck save. It's I think eight. I'm throwing that. No, no. <laughs> no, okay. no, 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 no. Okay. Um, Let me hold it. So Fabian, you leap forward, eat dirt. The hangman sprays gravel into your eyes. You fly under the van, barely on that first save, not getting crushed under the wheels for 10d10 damage. Okay. Um, what? <laughs> I killed him! I killed Fabian! Oh um, Fabian, so low kindly place, I'm gonna actually say, we're gonna use, kindly Wait, take was your- was it an attack roll? Was it an attack no, roll? No, it's, it's a dex save. Uh, so Fabian, kindly slide your mini under the body of the hangman. Okay, you got it. Um, so Just like that? Uh, <laughs> everyone know that Fabian is under the midsection of the hangman as we proceed with these next He's just starts. like on the grate getting and, dragged along. And if he survives, Fabian will be stranded on this battle board as the van surges <laughs> forward. Um, uh, so, uh, Fabian, that's your movement. Do you okay. have an action, bonus action? Wait, um, are you still standing? Oh no, you're, the, 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 the next the save, van. the DC 20 was prone. You are prone under the van and have an okay. action and bonus okay, action. Okay. okay. Sure. As you as you hit the dirt, you like you know mouth whatever that to Esap, you huh, vanish under the van in a. But no one feels a bump or anything. You hear Riz Esap goes, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Dude, you what the hell? You just got your best friend. What the fuck? Everything's bad in here. Oh, man. I think oh, yeah, Riz, you fully hear the the mirror go like this fucking kid. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Wait, do I have, so uh, as I'm in the midsection, yeah. is there like a chance to grab onto something? Well, you have an action and bonus action. Okay, so, great. So now it's like, what are you gonna do? The van is racing over you. Okay. You've just barely avoided getting crushed. Great. Man, this is a great first round, guys. are rolling between the wheels. Uh, yeah. I, sh I shouldn't have brought up the tables, I cursed us. Yeah, you cursed us. This was your fault. Uh, I say, hey, man, around, <laughs> around. Um, okay. 
Uh, the hangman has movement, so the hangman leading the charge says, Shia, oh, shit, you're under there! Uh, and is going to wheel around, use its full movement, and it, yeah, it can just barely avoid attacks of opportunity. Go ahead, but it's gonna use its its dash and yes. and it's gonna use its its movement and action to get <laughs> behind you. Uh, and then my goal would just be to uh, grab onto the hangman. Okay, go ahead, and this is going to be, uh, we'll call this acrobatics. It's a DC 15, but you are rolling with disadvantage because you're going from prompt. Okay, got it. Uh, that's a 16. You clear it by one. Oh, um, wow. That was a three. Wow. That was a three uh, on the die. On that same goddamn die. It's cursed. Uh, uh, Fabian, uh, could you go ahead and hand me both your mini and the hangman's mini? Okay, great. Wow, how many minis do you have? Get out of here. It's junior year, baby. We pulled out all the stuff. Fabian, Aramis, Seacaster, astride the hangman. So, oh, yeah. okay, oh, so we, we burned a lot of actions a to basically get on. Of to <laughs> get but you're not dead. Yes. Whoa, cool move, baby. <laughs> hey, man, was, was, that, awesome. was that intentional? Was that massive scare. <laughs> yeah. So much rubber. Grab, uh, grab. You are going to take four points of damage just falling damage from hitting the thing. So you take four points of damage, a little bit of road rash, get up on your motorcycle, you are behind the hang van. Any bonus um, actions? Uh, I'll second wind. <laughs> 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 An incredible turn. Is that how you raising. always get on it? <laughs> oh, yes, I used to do the Teen Wolf thing, but this is a new, this is a new version. <laughs> okay, and with that, uh, it's gonna be the Yorbies. Give, give it a fun title. Call yourself God, a goddamn snack captain. Call your friends snack captain. Exactly, and 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 give them a big, give them one of those hats. Give them a hat. Get a, get, Give him a hat! Give him a hat! Um. Uh, okay, we have a, a, in, essentially absolutely no time left. Okay, well. It's great. No, um, well, as we, as we roll are we go, into, We're going for it? Yeah, I think if we have no time left and it's like, there's not actually like, I, now, like we're not gonna, if you had like four more segments, I'd be like, maybe. Oh, this is so much slimier now, was than. Now, Bridgman's gold like trick you and like be like, haha. Brendan, I don't fucking know Brendan what Bridgman's so gold was. So much food was. that he'll that he'll eat this fucking mask. This this fucking Hoover will yeah. shuck this <laughs> shuck this mask down his fucking throat. He'll think it's some kind of big wet almond. <laughs> So kind of a big wet silvery you get almond. Get this fucking big wet almond down your throat, you goon. Okay. Uh, oh, this, do people like this? <laughs> your sunglasses. I had to wear Why? Well, you know, you don't think I'm gonna bring these like. <laughs> 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 okay. Do you have like a closing question or something like that? I have all of our audience questions. Oh, wow. <laughs> we, you didn't tell me that. I said we basically have no time left. Okay. We're going to try to... I, I fully thought we were going to do a thing where we like... <laughs> okay. No, no, <laughs> okay, yeah, let's... No, well, hey, let's... You let's really, not up. Let's no, do it, you, you went for it, and you'd already opened the bag, <laughs> and I didn't know that these things had 20 gallons of water in them, so I thought I would try out if we saved it for the end. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, just go for it. Just go for it. Hey, gang. This first question comes to us from Titania. Thanks, Titania. <laughs> I can't wait till there's just a huge edit point where we have to stop down. <laughs> Here's the question from Titania. Okay, yeah. Answer, and you have to, and, and when I, here's the thing, because we know that the hard part's going to be when I finish the question and turn to you. Yeah. That's the danger zone. So just prepare okay. to make it through that, and then you'll start answering, and we'll yes, get through okay, the great. segment. <laughs> That's the energy we're going into this way. Yes. All right, we, hey, we know where the danger zone is. I'm going to read it just <laughs> fine. And then if you start answering, <laughs> we'll be okay. Yeah, okay. But if we, the, the danger zone is the transition. Great. From Titania, thank you, Titania. Thanks, Titania. How do you make characters with antisocial behavior be fun for the whole party? Fabian and Gunny, while very different, are some of my favorite characters, and they also struggle a lot with egotism and gambling, respectively. <laughs> How do you manage to role play those aspects and still bring a smile to everyone in the room? <laughs> <laughs> Tatanya, incredible question. <laughs> and well asked. 
<laughs> it's funny too because now I feel like my hands are getting wet. <laughs> that part is honestly a little too much. Just be like, uh, but anyway, it's so, it's so viscous, dude. Our skin is gonna be incredible. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna soak right through the layer of makeup <laughs> and make our skin so good. Um, to, to, uh, to, to Tanya, I would say one. Thank you so much for the question. Fantastic question. Hey man, yours is getting a little low. <laughs> you gotta pull it up. I know where it is. <laughs> I know where it is. All right, all right. Um, uh, I would say that I think it is, uh, the fun challenge of that is to find why the members of your party, why you love them, and why the negative, I can't look at you. Uh, why you, not? You just got, <laughs> why not? As I answer this question, you're just kind of living on the periphery of my vision. <laughs> um, uh, I just want to make sure you can see my lips. <laughs> Lips are essential to talking. Um, to Tanya, you, this is a fantastic question. You have to find out why you love the members of your party, why those people are exceptions to your rule with regard to how you move through the world. Uh, I think uh, both the characters you mentioned, I mean, especially Fabian. Fabian first interaction with Gorga is that I beat the shit out of him. Uh, which, again, is like from a part, I think, where I was more raw with d and and I didn't even really have the, like, wherewithal to be like, uh, why? <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't start in a, a social uh, 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 a social relationship with somebody by punching them. But I think, um, uh, I think you, uh, you it's, it, it's two things. It's one, finding why the people in your party are the exception to the rule. What exceptions to your rule? Damn. Is that any good? That was perfect. And do you think people will listen or will they just be too distracted by the fact that my face is absolutely covered in platinum? <laughs> <laughs> I think that, that we're setting a challenge for people, right? Yep. And we're saying like, there's wisdom here. Mm -hmm. Can you let go of your pride? <laughs> exactly. Can you let go of your pride? Here's a, here's a growth point. Here's a growth moment for you. You're talking to a, a, an incredible performer and artist, and if you can't see through a simple face mask, then, then, then hey, you're talking about Mr. Peanut. Okay, there's the monocle and there's the cane. He has to get this because of the makeup he has to wear in the suit. They make me wear makeup within the suit. Within the suit. If, because if anything were to happen to the suit, they needs to stay in character within. I wear a little top hat underneath the big one. It's like a backup parachute. Exactly. Um, you know, and here's, here's so, so insight into me, mm -hmm. uh, I gotta get this off my face. And yeah. yet, <laughs> I can't abandon well, that's the, our, bit. the bit. that's the bit, yeah. So that's just sort of the bit. You can take it off. Will you take yours off? I take it. Absolutely not. God damn it. God damn. <sighs> They, do they just want an answer from me, or are you supposed to? Well, they're addressed to you, so they're. Oh, that's very sweet. Yeah. Um, When'd you ask these? Uh, uh, Bridgman posted them on the uh, Discord uh, in between attempting to kill me with instant coffee <laughs> and, uh, and hiding a face mask. Oh, my... that uh, that instant coffee, by the way, is so good if you eat it properly, <laughs> or if you not eat it but drink it. Oh, the the Maxim one. Yeah, it's so good. When have you had it? Oh, uh, that's a crazy story. If I got hit by a guy at the Glendale Gallery, what? <laughs> with a, his car backed into my, <laughs> my body, he popped out and said, "I can make this right." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you go, please, for Mr. Peanut, anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny. He was the Maxim Coffee Man, <laughs> so he gets out. <laughs> And he's a giant thing of instant coffee. Man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're well-known mascot. No, exactly. He, uh, he tried to get me. He was like, "Can we do this without insurance?" I have a friend. He sent me to his friend. His friend was this, uh, was this uh, uh, body shop in Koreatown with the truly the sweetest man I've ever met. And I walked in, and they were like, yeah, let's take a look at your car. While you're doing that, come on inside. We got some pastries, and do you want some coffee? And I was like, sure. And he's like, great. And he made me one with the Maxim. And I was like, and then he, you know, it didn't end up working out with the car, but I, he could obviously see, uh, watch me as I chugged this incredibly hot Maxim coffee and was like, do you want some packs to go home with? And I was like, wow. sure. So he gave me a bunch of pastries and Maxim coffees to go. It was delicious. Like yeah. when I was eating it, it was like, well, it was hard because I put a huge amount of Did you dry... make the other person eat it or did you, did you realize by the time? Well, I, in my head, made a little game where I'm like, let's want it. You know, let's do the whole, whole pack yeah. down the hatch, assuming it was some sort of like snack powder or a dessert <laughs> dust. 
you know, uh, you know a classic, <laughs> a form of food we constantly we constantly uh, talk about. Us. There's nothing I love more than just uh, you know horking down dust at yeah. the end of a long day. Of course. Um, this one comes to us from. Um, uh, hold on one sec. Um, this one comes to us from Thomas. Thanks, Thomas. Um, how do you try to find? Amethar, you ascend up the walls of the castle as you hear shouts of surrender and you see heading to the secret exit that leads to the escape, Calroy Cruller. Cumulus, you appear blocking his exit. Those fancy ass pants. He turns to face you. What was the last part of my title? Say it. Amethon. What's the last part of my title? You say the last part of my title. I think Cumulus is going to kick him in the knees and make him bow. <laughs> <laughs> Amethon, the unfallen. <laughs> and he leaps at you. Great. Uh, um, he is gonna roll. Jesus, 18, 23, 27, 32. Uh, he hits you for 34 points of damage, halved to 17. Great. Uh... Uh, great. It's my turn. That's your turn. Uh, I'll actually I'll action surge uh, for four reckless attacks. <laughs> uh, that's twenty one. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's twenty seven. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a crit on a nineteen. Nat one. That's a nat one. That's what? <laughs> That's my box. Right, so <laughs> he makes a DC 20 constitution shaving throw or immediately dies. DC 20? What's that? Uh, oh, because of payment day. Because yeah, no. of payment day. This is the most sister. beautiful thing that this was, that we have never seen this until this moment. Also, just a fun fact for those at home, this was rolled on a dice that Brennan gave to me after the very first season of uh, Dimension 20. That nat 20. Gorgeous. Calroy's a rogue. He's a scoundrel which means that he was able to betray and deceive your family over the course of decades. It also means that he is not proficient in constitution saving throws. He has a plus one to this. Yes. He needs a 19 or 20. You might do it on the damage alone. What was it? Astride the wall over the deep and vast moat of Castle Candy, the Marquis of Muffinfield, who lived a lie for 25 years as your advisor and right hand, leaps forward, scores the deepest cut across your chest that you can remember. After that, what fate befalls Calroy Cruller? I take my hand. I rub it across the blood uh, running from my body. Take payment day, rub it along the edge, to see, uh, like the edge, mm -hmm. for my sister, for my daughter, and I bring it down. You slice this piece of cake <gasps> perfectly in half to the point where no decent burial or anything done with his remains could be anything other than a disgrace and mockery to his memory. I can get down on my knees. I grab the back of his pants. And I lift him up. 
and I wait to watch while he shits himself. <laughs> <laughs> One final humiliating shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, cousin, nah. Uh, don't have, you don't have to explain. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> Calroy Crawler is dead. <laughs>